Hello everyone from Amber and Berlin and today we are going to show you how easy it is to make your own baby food and so the reason we want to make our own baby food hi baby is because look at this precious little bean she is in this world and depending on her mommy and daddy and we want to try to give her the best food possible and not to mention this is the most economical way that you can feed your baby and it's so 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 easy and so I'm gonna pass Berlin off to daddy can you give us a smile though can you give us a smile yeah because we love oh we love good food okay so daddy's gonna take Berlin and I actually have not even made this type of baby food before that's how easy this whole process is and how much fun you can have with it so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to do quinoa so I do not use any um, like rice cereal or anything that I can buy out of a box I actually made um, my own quinoa so quinoa is great because it only takes about 12 to 15 minutes to make and so what we're gonna do is we are going to take I'm gonna put three-fourths of a cup so I have a oh I have a half a cup so I'm gonna put a cup so I put a cup of quinoa in my food processor now I love our Cuisinart but you know any food processor is going to do so we have a cup of quinoa and then I'm gonna use a ripe banana now what we have noticed with Miss Berlin is that bananas can make her a little bit constipated so uh, we're just going to put I'm actually gonna put one-fourth of a banana in there uh, just because I know what that has done to her. Um, I'm also going to put just a little bit of breast milk. So I pumped a little bit of milk last night. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I would say I probably put um, maybe three tablespoons. Just kind of dump that in there and that's going to give the liquid that you need to be able to blend it up. And then I made my own pear juice. And so how I made this was I got an organic pear. I peeled it, I cut it up to remove the seeds, I put it in my Vitamix with a little bit of distilled water and I blended it up. Then I put it on the oven and I heated it in a saucepan for about on low for about 10 to 15 minutes just to kill off anything um, bacteria or anything that would be dangerous in it and then I stored it in this glass container. So here's my pear juice. And again, pear juice is going to be um, something that's going to help with constipation. This has really helped Berlin with her uh, constipation. We had a horrible incident, but I actually helped my daughter poop, and it was something that I never want to do again. So I'm going to put, oh, I would say about three or four spoonfuls of this pear juice, like so. And then we're going to blend this up. And basically, we're going to look for consistency. So if we have enough uh, liquid in there, we should get the consistency that we want for the baby food. Whoops, this goes this way, like that. Okay. All right, so I did this um, food processor for probably a minute and a half. And so I have not looked in it yet, but I'm going to look in it with you to see what the consistency looks like. Now the thing with the food processor is that a lot of times big pieces kind of jump up on the side. So you just kind of want to, you know, scoop those down there. But if I look at the consistency, this is pretty thick. Uh, Berlin is five and a half months. And so the fact that it's still on my spoon, I actually want this to be a little bit more liquidy. So again, you could decide to add more pear juice or you could do more breast milk. So I'm going to add a little bit more breast milk. So I'd say that total, I've probably put in about an ounce, a little bit more than an ounce. So that's about an ounce and a half right there of breast milk. And then I'm going to put in two more of these spoonfuls of pear juice. Okay, so we're going to blend that up and we're going to see what this looks like. And we're back. So again, we pulsed this for about a minute, minute and a half. So we're going to open this up and we're going to see what the consistency looks like now. Oh, that's much better. So this is the consistency where it just kind of floats off of the spoon. That's what we want. That's the kind that she likes. And I can see that the quinoa is really, really ground up. So it's going to be easy on her digestion. Now, quinoa is a new food for Berlin. So I made sure that I only put foods in this that she has already had. So she's already had banana, she's obviously already had breast milk, and she's already had the pear juice. So um, the only new food in here is quinoa. So now it's the taste test time because we have to make sure that baby girl likes it. So do you want to taste it? Okay. 
So we're just going to give her just a little taste. Make sure you guys can see this. Is it good? I think it's a good one. I think you like it. Yeah. And so this is just a gift that you can give your baby and to give your wallet. And we have these cute little glass containers that you can store this in. You can also store it in larger glass containers and then just um, pour it out when you go to feed the baby. But this is a great way for you to give your baby the best start possible. So I hope that this has helped you have some fun with making baby food in a food processor. Yeah. All right, everyone. Until next time. Have a great day.